Hey, what's going on, guys? Tanmay here for Simple Snippets, and welcome back to my channel. And let's quickly complete the entire AVL tree implementation part. So this is the part two, or you can say continuation to the AVL tree topic that we've been going through in this DSA course, in this DSA playlist. By the way, if you're new on this channel. We have been covering data structures and algorithms course extensively and there is a complete playlist. So I'll drop the link in the video description. But for those who've already seen all the tutorials, in this video, I just wanted to give you an overview about the complete implementation of AVL tree. In the last couple of videos, we've done with the AVL insertion. We also have done with the AVL deletion. And when I say done, it means that both theory as well as practical implementation with C++ code, we've covered for these two operations. And that essentially means that we've completely implemented AVL tree. That is because all the remaining other functionality, that is the height of AVL tree, the different traversal techniques, that is in order, pre order, post order, or breadth first technique, the searching technique, all of them are exactly the same like what we have in binary search tree. And since we have already completed the topic of binary search tree, all the code from binary search tree will be exactly applicable in AVL tree. That is because AVL tree is nothing but a balanced binary search tree itself, right? So the only different part is when we have insertion and deletion, where in AVL tree, extra steps are required to perform the rotation to perform the balancing, right? So if you see on the screen right now, we are on our official website, simplesnippers.tech. By the way, if you don't know, just go to this website. If you're visiting for the first time, you'll probably get this notification. Click on allow so that you get updates whenever I put a new post. This is where I share the theory as well as the code related to every video. So over here, you can see I've shared a little bit of AVL tree theory. So this is the different rotations and definition of AVL tree. And then over here below is the entire code of AVL tree implementation with all operations. So we have separate tutorials for AVL insertion and separate tutorial for AVL deletion. But as I mentioned, all the other functions, that is all the other operations, which can be seen like is tree empty, height of a tree. Then we have get balance factor of a tree. We have left and right rotate. Then we have insert, which is a recursive insert. We have minimum value node. Now this function is used when you are performing deletion. So this is where delete node function is. Let me zoom in a little bit. So you guys can see the different functions. So you can go to this link and I'll drop the link in the video description to get this entire code, right? So this is delete node. Then if you scroll down, we have the printing option that is print 2D. We have print pre-order, print in order, print post order. And I'm just zooming through and glancing through the entire code. That is because all this code is exactly the same like what we have in binary search tree. And when we were implementing binary search tree, we have individually covered all these different topics. So you can go ahead and check those videos. The same code is exactly applicable in AVL tree also. So that's why I'm scrolling a little fast. So this video is just a recap about AVL tree and binary search tree. And so that we can conclude this topic and conclude all the implementation operations of AVL tree. Okay. So this is print given level, which is used in level order printing, which is again, exactly the same as binary search tree. We have iterative search. We have recursive search. And then the class of AVL tree is over over here. And in the main function, this is where we are asking the user, what all operations do you want to perform? We have insert node. We have searching a particular node. We have deletion of node. We have printing that is traversal of AVL tree values. So printing is nothing but traversal because when you want to print all the values, you have to traverse through the entire tree. Then we have height of a tree. We can clear the screen. We can exit the program. So in the switch case, we have case one for insert case two for search case three for delete. Case four is for printing and this is where I've commented some code. Now this commented code is different, different printing options. That is different, different traversal options. So we have print level order. We have pre-order. So this is that function. We have in order printing. So this is that function. And then we have post order. So you can uncomment this code and run it onto your ID and you can see the different results. We also have case five, which is for tree height. And then we have clearing of the command prompt and below we have some set of tutorials which we've already covered onto our channel. All right. So quickly coming to the Dave C++ ID on my screen. This is the entire code. You can go to the website and check out the entire code. I would highly recommend that you type it once, but this is the entire AVL class. You can see with all the functions and then in the main function, we have all these different menu driven program options. So let's save this and you know, let's go down and you can uncomment this. Let's try to uncomment this. So we'll print level order. We'll print pre-order. We'll print post order. All of the different 
traversal techniques we'll perform and we'll see the output let's save this let's go to execute compile and run so there you go let's insert some values 55 34 67 and when i print the values you can see print 2d is first printing the entire tree then we have print level order so 55 34 67 so level by level we are printing we have pre-order we have in order and we have post order and again what operation do you want to perform so let's insert few more values so i have inserted 32 let's see the tree this is how the tree looks like and now let's delete 67 when we delete 67 since this is a avl tree we will perform rotation and 34 will become the new root node and 55 will be the right child of 34 right so let's try to do that i'm gonna select option 3 for deletion and let's say 67 is the value that we want to delete this is the node when i hit enter you can see value deleted and now when i print the values now you can see 34 is now the root node over here if you go scroll to the top 34 was over here 67 is deleted so it's a left left imbalance so we do a right rotate so 55 becomes the right child of 34 you can see 55 has become the right child of 34 and accordingly all the other traversals have also ran successfully you can go for option 5 which will give us the height of the tree currently the height should be 1 so there you go tree height height is equal to 1 you can also search for a node let's say you want to search for 32 I will select option 2 and you will say enter value of tree node to search in the evil tree I want to search for 32 hit enter there you go you can see value found again if I am searching and if I enter some random value 88 you can see we are getting value not found so which means all the functions are working fine and we have completed the avl tree implementation with all the different operations basically the only two operations that had to have a separate tutorial is for insertion and deletion because that is slightly different compared to binary search tree and when i say different there are extra steps involved but other than that all the other operations like searching like traversal like height of tree balance factor etc etc are exactly the same like what we have in binary search tree so this is something that I just wanted to quickly cover in this video and I'm going to conclude this video over here. This was just an update video to tell you guys that we have completed the implementation of AVL tree. The link to the entire code and some theory to AVL tree is there in the video description. Go to our official website, try this code yourself and do a little bit of practice. Okay, so thanks for watching guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments how this video was. Do share it with your friends. I hope you are typing and practicing code especially when it comes to data structures and algorithms and i'll see you guys in the next one peace